Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Louise. I am mum to two adult children, Blossom, who doesn't live here anymore, and Corey, who does, and two dogs, Chip and Dale. Uh, if you enjoy hauls, I am going to do, I do hauls every Saturday. I've done quite a few hauls this, this month because it's Christmas. Um, we'll be another one Saturday because I figured out I've bought some more stuff. So, yep, yeah, even though it's Boxing Day, there will be a haul on. If you enjoy hauls, um, vlogs, I've done Vlogmas pretty well, considering at the beginning I didn't think I was going to do Vlogmas, I thought I was going to fail it. But I've managed to do it, the vlogs will go down, because there's no way I could do it every day. And let's face it, at Christmas you have more to do than any other time of year, and I have quite a boring life. <laughs> so if you enjoy this sort of thing, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we're a, a lovely little family here, and I do say so family because you are. Uh, you know, everyone that's subscribed, and when you, you comment and you share your lives with me, you're my family. So yeah, if you enjoy that sort of thing, please don't forget to subscribe. We are on Vlogmas Day 23. It's 23. I say I've been saying it since the 20s started. It's going so quickly. Oh, turkey's out, ready to start defrosting. I was gonna make uh, the kids Christmas present. It's actually, it's gonna be a Christmas Eve present. Thing is, I ordered this thing off Amazon to make them with, and it's come through differently. Sorry, I'm, I'm melting chocolate, so I'm just gonna mix it around so it don't burn. I will show you in a second. In fact, let's turn that off. Hot chocolate bombs. So originally, I need, what I was gonna make is, is the bombs, the round circle ones. So I would've needed the silicone mold with the deep, semicircle but because of what I'm like and how I leave everything to the last minute the only thing I could get was these but I thought these were going to be deep enough now they, so they come in the post so they would be really nice with all those different designs but they're really really not deep I don't know if you can really tell they're really really not deep at all and I need to have two halves hollowed out in that shape and then put hot chocolate powder and marshmallows in them. I think it's gonna work. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to get the halves. If we can get that, we've achieved something. <laughs> I'm sort of winging it now. If we can get the halves, and I can get a chocolate powder packet in it. I see, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've got a couple of ideas I was thinking, okay, well maybe, I found these in, in my drawer. I've literally, wherever I got these from, I've never used them. So I think they're um, actually, strangely enough, <laughs> I've been talking about cocktails, I think they're cocktail stirrers. So that is really weird that I even own these, but they're all floating around in the bottom of the, the drawer. And they've all got Christmassy tops on them. So I was thinking if, right, so if I can't hollow it out, we're gonna solid it. <laughs> I'm making my own language up. Uh, yeah, because there's two of every design. If we do the whole lot, just solid, put it in the fridge, let it set. I was thinking, I don't know if it's going to work. Then I could take one of these, like we'll take them out, and we can take the two halves of the same design, put that in the middle, and then put some more chocolate and let it melt, uh, like let it dry on it. So then it should have a solid chocolate. So they have the chocolate when that's all set, put some marshmallows on the outside and like just set it with chocolate again. So we literally have no idea what we're doing. Which is nothing though for me. So we're winging it. <laughs> Do you know how many YouTube clips I've watched of this? If I had the right size silicone, this is what I'm going with. If I had the right size silicone mold, mold, um, silicon mold, then we'd be good. Believe though, believe anything. So right, we're melting chocolate in here. It's getting there. All right, let's hope this goes well. I mean, I'm not gonna try loads of them. Let's try the, I haven't got the right tools for this at all, but I don't know what I'm doing, so I guess I don't know what the right tools are either. I needed a paintbrush or something, I think, for this bit, but could not find a paintbrush anywhere, like cooking paintbrush type thing or DIY type paint paintbrush, like a kids type one. I looked everywhere, but I guess everyone's, you know, locked down and keeping the kids entertained I suppose it makes sense really I don't know if the nibs could be too I oh, don't know I thought it would be too sharp and not be able to do anything with this okay I don't know how this is not going to work is it I'm going to have to do this twice 
So just looking at the hat, if I put that on top of that, that's not going to work because the hat's the wrong way around. Oh, that's not very um, helpful. Christmas trees will be okay with. I should probably, <laughs> I should have thought of that. Okay, so the hat's not going to work. If, if we can hollow it out, the hat's not going to work. But everything else will. Do you know, it amazes me how I get anything done. Okay, I'm going to go and do this, um, I need to move it in a better position for me. Okay, so as usual, I'm doing this all backwards. I'm not showing you because everything's in the freezer, it wasn't setting very quickly in the fridge. So I've just done two of the moulds because it was so fiddly and it was taking so long and I'm not convinced it's going to work anyway. So I filled up the other one completely and then we'll wing it after that. Once they're solid enough, I'll get them out and we'll figure something out but I did promise you that I was going to do stockings so let's do the stockings I don't know how to do this I've never done this one before we'll do it okay Corey's stocking so this is 21 year old boy stockings wouldn't we do stockings in our house it is just little fiddly bits stocking traditionally for us like when the kids were young it would go on the end of the bed and then they'd wake up and then want to do the stocking on your bed at some stupid like four o'clock in the morning type thing when you've only been in the bed for like the past half an hour yourself because as we all know as mums you're up most of the night doing those last minute wraps and you've got to wait until the kids are asleep before you put fill the stocking up and all that sort of stuff uh, but now as adults it's just one of them things for them to be opening as they are as we're getting ready, as we're having breakfast and walking the dogs and all that sort of thing. It's just a little pre-Christmas bit. It doesn't have to be decent stuff, it can be toot. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word, it's a toot. Yeah, it is. Right, so found these in the pound store, Lucky Charms. Corey likes cereal. Um, when like, American cereals come up, he likes trying them as well. And I can't remember if he's tried this, possibly has. Don't know. It was a pound of pot, which is quite expensive because that's just one bowl of cereal, really. But it's Christmas stuff, so it's still not bad. This is something I always got the kids every year. They always get a tube of sweets. It's just a standard. Always goes in a stocking. Corey likes white chocolate. I feel like I might have white chocolate to him to death at the moment, though, because he's still not eating his calendar. Either one. He had two. He got one from Blossom, one from me. He has the make ones, <laughs> like the brand, they weren't cheapy ones, and he said they taste funny. So I don't know if it's them or if he's just out of white chocolate. If he is, I've got a lot of chocolate to eat this Christmas, so bonus. <laughs> so he's got the white chocolate too. <laughs> I showed this in my haul, I explained it in the haul. I won't be able to link it because I can't remember which one it was, it was a while ago. So when Corey gets stressed out with the game, you know boys do, don't they? They get angry, they might die or something in it. Um, he usually chucks the remote that's in his hand. Well, this is a stress one for a start, so that's good. But I was thinking if he could have that by his bed, maybe he'll chuck this instead of his remote, because they're expensive. He probably won't, but it was just a gag gift, so. I found these in the pound store. They were two pounds though, and it's a puzzle. It's a 50 piece mini puzzle of Pringles. That's it, there was no, it's just, I don't even think he'll do a puzzle, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. Oh, well, this one, I'm on, I'm on a lot of pages on Facebook, like scrimping pages and things like that. And somebody had said a number of times that this one, sorry, the, the glare, uh, this one is supposed to be like a dupe of, is it million or millions? I don't know which one it is. This is expensive men's aftershave, and this is supposed to be really spot on. It's a pound. It's worth giving it a go. I mean, if it's not good, then you just won't use it. I haven't lost a lot of money. I don't know what the original smells like though, so I won't be able to say, oh yeah, that's good. Don't know. Ooh, what else do we have in here? What every man needs, socks. <laughs> Corey sits in the shed uh, with a cup of tea and he watches his uh, tablet and smokes out in the shed because I don't have that in the house. Um, and it's cold out there, so thermal socks. I actually think I bought these in the sales last year. Very likely bought them in the sales last year. I do that. When I see things in the sales and I think, oh, stocking fillers. Because stocking fillers, it's a hard chore getting stocking fillers. I find normal presents way easier to get. Um, this is a surprise to me as I pull them out. Uh, oh, yeah. I think it was last year or the year before. Corey has a beard and he, he 
he, I don't know if he's researched or he just knows how to try and grow it the way he wants to grow it or something. Um, and I bought him a set of like the shampoos and conditioners and stuff and he really enjoyed using them. And I haven't been able to find them anywhere but they had these in Asda and they were reduced. But they're still quite expensive. I think they were like three or four pound a bottle. And this one is, it's a beard shampoo and conditioner. And I think I've got something else in here somewhere to do with that. But I don't know when I'll get to it. That was just a silly novel. novel. It was 50p. It's smart, isn't it? It's got smart, isn't it? Oh, I'm not going to open this one because this, this is actually, it's the Lynx Africa, which I know he likes. And it's the body, no, shower gel. And there's an aftershave in there. I'm not going to open it. It was actually a gift box set, but I took the box off because it wouldn't fit in the stocking otherwise. And it was already wrapped like that. So I'm not going to open it because I won't be able to get it back the same way. So that's what that one is. Just funny looking lighters. Like I said, he smokes and he's always losing them. So... I mean, if I could stop him from smoking, I would, because I've never smoked, but he's an adult now. It's none of my business. What else do we have? This is a beard oil. That I never bought the other year, so I don't know if that's something he would use. Again, this was like three or four quid, but if it's something he would use. A silly one. Absolutely no idea why I bought them. Well, I do know I bought them. Just a deck of cards, and I bought them because they actually weren't a pound. I think they were reduced to 50p. <laughs> Which one? I need to take the price tag off. Probably won't use them. I don't even know if he knows how to play card games. This was another thing that the coins, the uh, chocolate coins, always get chocolate coins in there as well. I think that's Corey. He's out. Yes, he's out. So that's all Corey's ones. Um, what I used. I've got the Satsumas as well, they'll have a Satsuma in there and then when they were kids they would have a uh, cracker as well but I only bought a box of six so no there is enough so they'll get a cracker in there as well <laughs> I was going to say there won't be enough after dinner but there will be so yeah they'll get a cracker in in the stocking as well and that's him done I'm going to just move this to the side and sort it out in a minute the blossom is done right she was actually with me. I mean, she's an adult now. I don't know what chocolate she eats. Like, if, if they live with you, you, you know, don't you? But then when they move, and because tastes change and that. Oh, I've got this one from the pound store. It's just a... It's called a cockpit sponge. So it's like, it's, it's got a, a container. And I think you take that end off. And then it's got the sponge that's connected to the lid and just to shine it all up and it's all really nice she likes nice neat tidy type things so yeah it's a pound and i got her one just different flavor it's not a different color i mean if nothing else i'll make them do christmas day <laughs> um is it like one of them they call it like an er ergonomically crafted you know like it sits in your hand type thing and it's just a hand lotion because I thought because it's really harsh isn't it on your hands when you're sanitizing all the time plus she has anxiety and she's always biting her nails and her fingers are so sore all the time she doesn't even notice she does it half of the time so yeah that's just a hand cream uh, this is a there was a reason I bought these they went with something else this is it's a it is all like uh the words the words hang on i've got a pad that went with it maybe it's the words are on the pad Ooh. it's all like re recycled like eco-friendly type stuff me and blossom we, we both like that that sort of thing we we tend to go for it if we can but you know it's we wouldn't go out of the way too much but i bought her a, pa a pad that's that um, and I ma found matching pens to go with it. So she's got pad and pens. She got a little Smarties one as well. She got green because green's her colour. It's not her colour, it's her favourite colour. <laughs> I've got so, a few little like, things that she can pamper herself. She's, I mean, she's... Poor cow, she's so... Uh, so she's just got a wisdom tooth come in. Her whole side of her face is really proper swollen. She's on heavy painkillers because of it. And she's got two jobs and she's like on the go constantly and you know I feel sorry for her there's nothing I can do to help her right now um, so I bought some bits to like so she can pamper herself um, so I've got a hair an argan oil hair treatment 
Yeah, argan oil hair treatment, and there's more bits in here. I'm talking about. Oh, this is a vegan peel off glitter mask again, so she can pamper herself. Our memo planner. It's a sort that this bit bends over so it can just sit on the side. I thought it was quite pretty, it's got animals on it. She's like me, she likes animals, so. <laughs> if I like most things, she likes them. <laughs> We've got like similar tastes. This was, this is again, this is that the range where it's like all eco-friendly and stuff like that. And it's an orange, I don't know how to say this properly. Neroli, there you go. Is that Neroli, Neroli, orange and Neroli? Probably said that wrong. I've never heard of that before. But it's a bath soak. So, because I know she likes she likes to have a soak in the bath, so she can do all little treatments. Well, that was the idea anyway. Um, she likes Nivea as well. And this is an, a night and moisturising night cream. Again, another pack of cards. And I believe there's one more thing in here. Yeah, <laughs> the coins. Yeah, so that's their stockings. So that's a, I won't say the ages, 20 somethings, adults, my children, my babies. Uh, that's their stockings this year, plus the, the satsuma and the uh, cracker. And I think that's everything. Yeah. So stockings done. I'm going to have to put a little bit on the title of this video so Blossom doesn't watch it because she's like only one video behind now. So, <laughs> so that's it on that one. I'm going to pop off, get rid of this because Corey's clearly moving around. I think he's getting ready to have something to eat because it is getting on now. Yeah, it's four o'clock. I don't think he's eating today. So, um, And then I will get the bits out of the freezer. Four balls are awful. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. Sometimes I wonder how I manage to function in society that I can't manage something as simple as this, but okay. Right, so what I did is I filled these up to capacity and I'd done those those ones because I knew that we could split but split them like to make them a whole thing but when I move this slightly it's clearly too thin because the whole thing like just totally cracked but you can see it would be too thin. I'm assuming you can see that. So definitely I needed to have the deeper ones because then I could have done a few layers and made it thick and I think it would have worked. So much for me watching loads of YouTube clips. So what I okay, the, the idea that I've come up with now is we have oh they're starting to melt already. They've just come out the freezer. I'm trying not to handle them too much. These are clearly too small. They'll just be eaten. That's not a big deal. But these ones, so we can get three each. I was thinking, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work. Turn one up, like turn one upside down. Take one of these. We have some of this chocolate still. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm literally winging it, which is like most of my life. So put a dollop on here. Right. Put that in there. And then put that on top. Now that's not going to work, is it? Because the dollop's not big enough. I'm going to have to put a dollop on here. I don't want to be holding it because you can feel it melting. It's really melting really quick. I did think it would melt like that. I'm clearly doing something wrong. <laughs> you can't say I don't try these things. They don't succeed a lot, but I try. I don't think that's going to work. That might stay on there. It's moving. The problem is, I think it's because it's got that bobble on it. If you didn't have the bobble, it'd be all right. It might stay there <laughs> and then okay so the next idea I was thinking on top after that is I bought marshmallows like bigger ones for Blossom and the ones for Corey which would have gone inside this thing with the chocolate powder but I was thinking if that stays together it might then I could take some of the marshmallows put a bit more of the chocolate on top and then put the marshmallow on top of that that's the idea behind this <laughs> oh dear I'm so bad. F full of enthusiasm. It won't get me down. It won't stop me. But this is just a start. I mean, you know, I, I've got all year to practice now. I will suss the, the chocolate bomb. I mean, you know what's really bad is I actually saw somebody selling chocolate bombs online. Like you could get three for £1.50. 
And the amount that I spent in buying all this chocolate and buying the, the chocolate powder <laughs> and the, the marshmallows, I spent way over that. But I'm a firm believer in it's the thought that counts. And I like it. If somebody made me something homemade, even if it com comes out like these will come out rubbish, even if it comes out rubbish, like you've literally put all that effort into making it. I love homemade gifts. Seriously. My, my favourite gifts that I've got are all homemade. They're proper melting now as well. I'm just going to leave them to balance. I mean, Corey knows he's not allowed in here. I've got to wash my hands to get rid of that chocolate. Anyway, you're not here on my channel for perfection. Because <laughs> if you was, you screwed up. And if it messes up, it messes up. I mean, what's the worst? You know, you just sat and watched me mess up for a while. You could have a laugh. I'm okay with that. Because even if this doesn't go to plan, I still had fun giving it a go. I mean, I, I've never... Oh, this is really runny, this one. <laughs> this is just going to go everywhere. Um, I've never pretended to be arty, crafty type. I've always wanted to be, but I'm just, just not me. I'm too... I think too logically with a lot of things. So I'm not creative is the word I'm thinking of. I'm not very creative. Right, let's try a bit of a marshmallow and then it's all set, isn't it? Um, see, it looks quite pretty. I'm not sure... We'll give Corey two white chocolates and then we'll give Corey a dark one. I hope this all sets, otherwise we've done this for nothing. Um, right, so blossoms, couldn't get them in the, the little ones like that. That's literally all they do with the vegan one. So, should I cut it in half? Will that work? Never tried a vegetarian one. It's got the same texture as a normal one. Right, I'm just put that on there. So yeah, well she's gonna know which ones are hers anyway. Let's get the other chocolate. I've done really, really good. I have not yet, I mean, I'm not saying I won't at all, but I have not yet licked any of this chocolate off of a spoon or, I mean, I was tempted to just like have a spoonful of it. It's like the perfect, oh. Melted chocolate, a spoonful of this melted chocolate. Oh my life. So good. Right, so Corey's got to have that one. And then Blossom gets those. And then we'll just eat those chocolates. So that's it. I don't know if it's going to be enough chocolate to make a hot chocolate taste very good. But we'll see. We'll do this, the trusted calendar, day 23. It's the weirdest thing, when the camera goes on, you forget what the date is. 23. Right. It's the bauble, I think. I think it's a bauble. Have we had that one? We've had some baubles, haven't we? I don't know. And... Oh, okay. <laughs> Not always expecting, was hoping for another Santa, but we got a Christmas pudding. We haven't had a Christmas pudding for a little while, have we? I don't think we have. I'm not going to eat that right this second, I'll eat you in a minute because you messed up the other day, didn't I? When I put it in my mouth, thinking I'm all clever, I'm only going to say goodbye. Yeah, messed up a little bit. Right, so 23, no. 20, yeah, it is 23. 23 is done. Now the calendar only goes up to 24 and yes in answer to forgive me again you know my memory whoever it was that mentioned it it is a big square you can't see it because but that whole thing there that is the 24 so technically does that mean that vlogmas is finished tomorrow do i not need to record anything christmas day that's the active fry, and that means the Corey's dinner should be done if I hadn't turned it off. Oops. It's going to keep going off. It's got a mind of its own, that thing. So, yeah, uh, Advent Cannon is going to be finished tomorrow. We have one more Vlogmas officially, but I will give you a little hello on Christmas Day. Um, won't be a long vlog or anything. It'll be just a 30-second thing, if that. 
because I've got to say Merry Christmas to you, haven't I? I can't leave you, like, go all the way up to there and then say not, not say Merry Christmas on Christmas Day. But it's only going to be that because whatever you're doing Christmas Day, I hope you are enjoying it and you shouldn't be... I don't want to interrupt it. So, that is it. We are done. 23, 24 tomorrow. Not sure what we're going to do. Oh, cupcakes, blossom should be here she turns out she's now working again so don't know how we're gonna do it but cupcakes have got to be made because santa needs his cakes tomorrow night um i'm gonna have to defrost some carrots out of the freezer because rudolph's got nothing <laughs> i will see you tomorrow bye